Right, okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove a uh, basement support post that is concrete filled. Um, I had to relocate one, and the relocation was easy, but getting rid of the old one was a pain. First off, I didn't know it was concrete filled, uh, so I just took an angle grinder and a sawzall, and then I realized nothing was going through it, so I'm gonna show you what ended up working after I went through about five or six different things. So the only tools you're gonna need is a vacuum, a shop vac of some kind to suck up the dust, cardboard to make a little wall out in case you wanna capture as much of the dust and debris from scattering all over the place you're cutting. If it's outside, obviously it doesn't matter. Some goggles, uh, face masks of some kind. Uh, there's a lot of dust coming out. Gloves, angle grinder, and then here's the different wheels you're gonna use. Metal cut off, you're gonna use the diamond tip for masonry, uh, metal grinder, and then you're going to have a uh, masonry grinder. This is what I was going through, which is like a four inch pipe. It's got a three sixteenths inch steel wall, and then the rest is concrete. So you're going to cut through the steel with the steel wheels, then you're going to cut through the masonry. After you cut through and drop it, you're going to have to grind off all the rest to get it level. So this is the uh, one I just removed. You can see it down at the end. Uh, it was about a uh, six foot five post. It was connected right here to up here. I had to relocate it so I got a new tube supporting over here. And you can see it quick folded down to the concrete. Um, so what ended up working was taking a four and a half inch on the uh, grinder and just the metal cut off and going lightly around so you only hit the steel through the steel. Um, you're going to notice as soon as you hit the concrete that this just shreds apart. It will not cut through the concrete. Then picking up a uh, 7 inch diamond blade for masonry cutting. Um, I went through so many sawzall blades and so many grinding wheels before um, I could figure out what ended up working and this going around takes literally like two minutes. This going through again takes maybe two minutes. Um, I spent an hour trying, maybe more, trying to get this through. The only thing I can say is that the post itself, just one specifically, weighed like 150 pounds. So once I knew it was concrete filled, I taped it with Gorilla Tape back and forth to this one so when I did get through the bottom this thing didn't just fall on me um, because the top was just two screws and uh, it, it fell right out. Um, so uh, I turned the vacuum on, you're not going to be able to hear for a minute, turn the vacuum on. So I have a regular shop vac that I just pointed at this. I put up this board to uh, keep all the sparks and dust away in my basement and turn the vacuum on, cut through this with the uh, steel cut off and then with the diamond plate for masonry. Now you don't have to do this, but since these are like 17 bucks a piece, or at least that's what it was for me, and your metal cutters are like two or three bucks, um, and grinding wheels are only like two or three bucks. In order to make sure you're not hitting this against your steel, you can use a thicker grinding wheel after you cut through it and just thicken this line up so you know this is only touching masonry. That way you don't just destroy this blade. If you're seeing sparks flying when you're trying to cut through the concrete, you know you're hitting the steel and not the concrete. So I'm gonna go ahead and just widen this up a little bit with the grinding wheel just to make sure I don't mess this blade up. Okay, so once you've uh, ground through it, you can see, you can just see the concrete now. And I got a little over a quarter inch thick around it. So I'm good to go ahead and move on to the uh, diamond tip masonry saw blade, which is the seven inch. And I'll show you this, we'll just go right through this.
Okay, and this is now cut through. And you'll notice I try to cut as close, actually it's, it's pretty close, as close as I could get to the uh, floor. And I'm just going to take a, a masonry grinder wheel, actually probably any thick grinding wheel will do it, and just make sure uh, I get these little bits off so we can put the flooring right on top of it and make sure it's smooth. Okay, so I went ahead and switched with a uh, grinding wheel, and I'm just going to grind off everything here so it's smooth. And that is it, and that's how you remove it. Takes probably 20 minutes if you got the blades. Just an angle grinder, grinding wheel, metal cutting wheel, and a uh, seven inch diamond tip for masonry. Let me add just one more thing. Since uh, my concrete down here had been retopped, uh, there was actually a little bit of a lip coming up to the uh, post, so I ended up taking the masonry grinding wheel, which is strictly for masonry grinding, and then was able to level this off. You can see the uh, concrete that was protruding is now visibly exposed, and now this is all level um, and completely flush, so I can go ahead and put my topping on it. Probably wrap everything that's near where you're cutting down, um, because even, even once you have this boxed up and using a vacuum, you can see there's, there's just dust on everything. It's, re it's really messy. So as a quick bonus, this was the uh, post that replaced the old post. Now this is a much thicker uh, wall on this. This is quarter inch seal. Um, and this is a 4x3 that was replacing the one next to it. It's got uh, Hiltzy expansion bolts that are down at the bottom. They're 3 8 inch thick by 12 inch long plates at top and bottom. And instead of two nails, there's six 3 8 by 3 inch lag screws into each of these um, top header beams. So uh, this is a much stronger connection. You can see I only moved it over about 16 inches and it's well within the span of the next pieces that I have. So make sure that before you remove this that you have an engineered design that is capable of supporting the loading that's above it and obviously never remove this before this is in place. Um, and don't, don't underestimate how much loading is above you. Um, and don't don't move that without putting the right post in the right place and having it properly connected.